your prayers have been, I don't think it's in your prayers, but you know, your questions have been answered. Today is the day that we are going to review. Zaful. Before we get into the clothes, I feel like I have like drama because of this. Like it's actually kind of insane. So let me give you guys a little bit of ins insight into Zaful. If you haven't seen Zaful, I don't know where you've been, right? It's everywhere. Anytime you see someone wearing a swimsuit, on Instagram, on YouTube, and 90% of the time it's from Zaffle. So um, they are known for having swimsuits and stuff, and lots of people do swimsuit hauls, but they also sell um, a, lot, a ton of other stuff. My favorites are wearing Zaffle. Tammy Herring Brown, I saw her looking fabulous in Zaffle, and other people, and I'm like, okay, okay, you're out here with the big dogs, right? With the big dogs. And then, what was kind of crazy, right? I got about three to four emails from Zaffle, and it's from different people, like it's not the same person. They offered me a lot of money to do a review. I'm telling you, there were some dollars, <laughs> big dollars. But I've opted not to do that. Those emails are currently in my trash. So yeah, I've used my own money and I'm gonna give you guys an honest and candid review. And I feel like we've been enjoying this series here. Um, I know God will provide for me another place, okay? I wasn't I wasn't willing to let you guys down for this moment. So maybe I'll do another Zaffle video and I'll be like, yes, I'll take your money, I'll do your video. But this one here is about to be an absolute original. So yeah. So first thing I want to get into is the website. I'm not gonna lie, it made me so angry. It was very frustrating. It was a bit of a chaotic mess. All the images were different sizes on different backgrounds. I was just not, I'm on the website now. I just wasn't best pleased. I just didn't like the website, it made me angry. And also I realized that if I wasn't doing this video, I would have clicked on and been like, uh, and then clicked straight off. That is what the website felt like. Secondly, um, I felt like there were some images that were non-kosher. So there was a picture, particularly that I saw, of an outfit, and the girl in the picture is someone who I follow on Instagram who I really, really like. And I was like, they've just put this girl's picture out here like it's theirs. I love her page, right? So when I saw her, it was like, oh, this site is legit. She's wearing Zaffle, right? So I went to her page, and she definitely wasn't wearing Zaffle. But then I realized that they went, I think they, they wrote something like inspired and then the item was inspired by, but it just seemed a little bit... So yeah, that was one thing that I noticed. However, the good thing on the website, they did have actual customer reviews and a lot of them I did think were genuine because there were a lot of people having a little moan like, this item does not look like this. So, made my order, prices are good, prices are affordable. I spent 300, let me write it down, I spent $342 and I was able to get 21 items. Now, third piece of drama was a case of when I made my order, um, it all went fine. Then afterwards, I started to get these emails from customer service. They created a, um, a ticket from Zaffron Support and they were like, we need you to provide more identification information. So they wanted photographic identification. I was like, no, that's too much. You're asking for too much, bro. It's literally just a swimsuit. They're like a passport photo or a driving license. I was like, and you know when everything in your head is screaming, scam, 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 scam. Like, I was like, you want my passport? You want my driver's license? I was like, no, you are asking too much and then also like a piece of like um evidence of your address so something like um a bill and i was like not for a swimsuit darling like it's just too much and part of me realizes probably that potentially that people buy stuff that using other people's card or there's some kind of fraud that people might have done so they have to protect themselves but a lot of people um are worried that zaffle is a scam website taking people's data and and i was a little bit is it is it is it not especially after i got that email and i got it like three times and i ignored it no one's getting my passport details okay okay anyway then i got another one from and they asked me something else it was to do with if we're not if you're not at home will you be happy for us to and leave it on your porch something along those lines of which i responded yes and then i went ahead and um it shipped out i did not give them any additional information like my personal details i didn't do anything like that and i still received my items however drama number four i only received half of my items so currently 
Um, this review is for 17 of the items versus the 21 items that I got. I've got one parcel and I do not know where the other parcel is. Mm, it might be on hold somewhere, something, somewhere. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but look. So I've got to pay um, customs duty and VAT. And I do not know how much that is going to cost me at this point. Oh, I think it's 18 pounds. Um, Cause I got a text message about that. So yeah. It hasn't been a smooth process, I'll give you that. But let's try the clothing. Let's see what it's saying. Is it a scam? Okay, so the first item is this off the shoulder rib crop. Okay, so this is on, so I'm just doing that lazy bra strap thing. Off the shoulder ribbed. This is actually nice. It's 14 pounds, it's $14.49. 14 and it looked really small, like it would fit a baby out of the bag. But overall, this actually looks good on. I'm not bad at it. Sorry, there will be dancing if I look good in item, but I do, I do like this. I think it looks cute. It looks cute. So I'm obsessed with off, show, off shoulder. Clearly, you can tell this looks, this looks cute. These are slightly hanging on by a thread here, but let's try it on. Let me tell you the price as well. It's a bit of a struggle getting in. I feel like the items are quite small, which isn't great for women who have got a bit more curves and stuff like that. This is cute though. I'm not even gonna lie. I love the color. I think it's. Adorbs and for $12.99, I'm not even mad at it. It's a nice crochet. It's even got a bit of elastic here So it doesn't just you know Constrict you some thoughts been put into it again. It's one size though. So if you're not a small This is not for you, but yeah, okay, so my off-shoulder <laughs> obsession continues This is a pink one size off the shoulder top. It's $10.99 now that is a bargain because I just bought a very similar top from Pretty Little Things um, in the orange, and that was 10 pounds or 12 pounds. So this is basically cheaper than that. And I feel like this one's slightly better. Yeah, this is this right now. Literally, you probably need to have quite small boobs for this and be quite small. And I'm, I'm actually quite a small person. So if you are bigger than me, then this isn't gonna work. We've still got bra coming out of the bottom as well. To me, this is actually better than the Pretty Little Things one, which is quite surprising. I feel like the elastic on this is nicer. The style is a bit nicer. The material seems to be a bit nicer. I'm kind of liking it. Like, I don't know how. Listen, there's room, there's room. But this is cute. But look, like, nah, it's a bit too, it's a bit too small for me. Hold on, if I take off my bra. Like with little bruise, you know, if you're trying to be like a model, hey, a little, hey. Oh, it's not bad, man. Urgh. Right, so next I bought this two-toned maxi dress, size medium and $17.99. And, um, yeah. Why is it so damn creased? Jesus. Okay. It's crisscrossing the back. That's what I really liked about it, and it's a maxi dress. Honestly, this looks cheap AF. There's no need for it to be as creased as it is, and yeah, it, no, yeah. Priced. <laughs> I don't even have. like I should be part of the Amish like what the what the hell is this dress this looks like the church dresses my mum used to put me in as a kid that I would literally cry about wearing have a look at the back the back is why I bought it I thought the back looked cute but the front I look like a nun like what the this has got no swag this is just grotesque the thing is, is that the girl looks so snatched and this is literally sunset orange, whereas hers looks more like a nice, like brown, like really cute color. This is orange. On the website, the color looks like it's this kind of color. But this is literally orange, an orange bin liner, an orange bin liner. This is awful. So say I had looked at that dress and I got received this, I would be pissed 
actually pissed. Like, this is a joke. Oh, where are you off to today? Just going to get on my horse. Like, I swear, I feel like I need a horse and a cart. I oh, hold on, off the ship, no. Just, it's all no, it's all no. Next up is this um, jumpsuit, floral jumpsuit slip. It looks, oh, it's cute, it looks cute. Um, yes, it's a little jumpsuit, 16 pounds, for, $16.49, and it looks banging. I'm feeling this, okay, all right. Okay, so this is extremely unfortunate, but the whole thing is ill-fitting. The middle of this is just a gaping hole, right? So boob or no boob, this is not even gonna cover nipple. So it's a slight joke. Also, it's really tight, and this is a size medium. It's very, very tight on the thigh. And listen, there's ankle swingers, and then these are literally knee grazers. They're grazing my knee. They're short. What is this meant to be? Look at it. What What are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? You're, you're just, you're just not here for any reason. Like, you're not. You don't want me to be great. You're just, like, do this. Actually, do this. But if it does this, it's literally snatching my groin. <laughs> Take a peek at my knees. What is this? Is this where it's meant to be? Ask yourself this genuine question. Is this an ankle grazer? Or is it a knee grazer? What, what is this? Why is it so short? No, it, it just doesn't fit on any part of my body whatsoever. I cannot even do my I look good dance, so yeah. Oh my gosh, this looks cute. Oh my gosh, this is a little, a little kind of ruched dress in a grey. It's a little bit shoddy. There's a couple of like loose threads, but it does look kind of cute. You guys know me, I like a little bit of a sexy little outfit. So let's try it on and see what it looks like. Do you see my face? Do you see my face? Okay, yes, it's cute. I love a little skimpy dress, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have an all right body and that I can do a little skim, you know, it's coming in I mean, it's not really killing the shape, but it's, it's helping, it's cute. Can you see there's like a band here? That's nice, I feel like that's helping to like bring me in a little bit because when you are shaped like a box, the most important thing is creating some form of shape in the middle. And if you guys can see, they're just loose and threading like all over, so it does look a bit cheap. The funny thing is, I'm finding that the material is quite nice. Like the material of this dress is a nice material. Come on. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm off to LA, so I'm gonna wear this on like Rodeo Drive. Like, hello. This is a Thai crop blouse. One size, eleven ninety nine, and it is thin AF. Can this even be ironed? I feel like if you put an iron on it, it would melt. Let's try it on anyway. This is a hundred percent. What were you thinking? Kind of outfit. What were you thinking? Huh, I mean, okay, all right. It does look cute. It looks all right on. And I know these kind of whole big sleeves are like really in. If I had the right pair of like leggings or trousers. It could look quite, it does look quite nice actually. I was moaning and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of liking it. Then if you can see, it's like pinstriped. It's got like pinstripes on it. Yeah, it's kind of cute, right? Okay, so what you've been waiting for? Burkini. Burkini. This is a scallop bikini. It is a size medium. The price was $13.49. I feel like their pricing strategy is very strange. It looks kind of cute. I love the burgundy color. Oh yeah, it's one shoulder. Let's try this on. Let us try this on. Okay, the swimsuit is on. And I'm honestly gonna say it's really nice. It feels really nice on. It fits really well. I feel super secure in the bottoms. I love the scallop detail. Can you guys see it's got like this scalloping detail and it looks really nice. The bottoms fit amazingly. And I've got a size medium on and I love it. I feel beautiful in something. I feel beautiful in this. I feel like, oh, I look nice. Like, I feel like I'd feel very comfortable in this. I wouldn't have to be yanking bits and bobs. And I think the material is really nice as well. It feels a little bit different and I like the way it feels. I like the texture on it. Damn it. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> Come on, hey, hey, hey. I, would, I wouldn't wear a swimsuit before and now I'm like shaking my ass in a swimsuit 
for you guys. What am I going to be doing next? What am I going to be doing next? We don't know. Okay, this is another swimming costume. This is a full-blown swimming costume. I think this is going to look really nice on. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the swimsuits are banging. I said it. I actually said it. I am screaming. Come through swimsuit. What? You can't tell me anything. Are you kidding? Like, honestly, super cute. I think it looks really nice. I love the cutout detail here. I feel like it makes my body look like it has some kind of shape. Listen, I don't have any shape, but I do now. Denim shorts, honey, denim shorts. 13, $13. At this point in time, I'm really wishing that the other stuff I had ordered come through because I'm really feeling like the items are kind of nice. Denim shorts, cute. They're in a size medium. They better not give me an indenter bum. Oh, <laughs> no. Up close and personal. This is why I love doing this stuff live on camera. Look, the hole to, for the button to go through is not open. It just needs to be cut, but it hasn't been cut. Right, well, the shorts actually fit quite well. They're giving me a minor, minor indenter bum. Literally looks like a line from the side, like literally a ruder. And plus the whole button thing is kind of damaged. I feel like you could just put a knife or scissors and it would open up. But they're meh. We also have jeans. And you know how particular I am when it comes to the jeans. Size medium. These are nice. They're stretchy. Let me try these on. I feel like they're giving me hope. Please believe this has done it again. There is no hole in this denim again. I will give you a pass if you do it one time, but if you do it twice, no, you have to get your act together. That is actually not a joke. I actually feel like they make these jeans for girls who don't have much curves, especially at the back. The back's always very tight. I love the way they fit on the thighs and actually they got the ankle right. Yes, it's a good ankle. It's actually a good ankle. I have this suede lace-up skirt. It is $18.99 and it looks very nice. This is the skirt on and it is super, super cute. The only thing is that it's a bit large and I got this in a medium and I feel like with the website, the sizing is confused. Look at the size of this, like it's literally big and it's a medium. It's cute though, I would still wear it like this. I I could put on a couple of pounds to like fill it out or just get a little bit of stitching done. But overall, I think it's a nice quality skirt. Funny, I have this striped dress and to Venice, it's literally looking like an old school Tesco carrier bag or like, you know when you go to a beach and then you get the um, beach beds that are striped, that's what this looks like. It just looks like dead. But, I'm jeez, this is, there's no words. There's no words to describe the fried crustiness that we have going on, but I'm gonna try one anyway, okay? So if grandma's tablecloth was a trend, this would be the trend. This is what you'd be wearing. Wear grandma's tablecloth out. This is the dress you end up with. Funnily enough, I feel like the style is, I feel like I'm lying to myself. Is this style okay? I like the fact that it has a little, we've got, we've got, we've got a little leg. We've got a little leg, right? but we've got leg and we've got fanny, so it's a bit much. Even if it wasn't this style, why are you gonna put a slit to the belly button? So right now, I'm not gonna show you because you don't need to see all that, but if I, listen, it's just all open, as my sister says, fanny to the wind, like it's actually too much. This isn't just a slit, this, listen, you just caught knicker. Like, this isn't just a slit, this is literally a gaping hole. So I don't know why you'd make a dress like that. Um, yeah, that is me done. Okay, so that is my Zaffo video done. I feel like this is the icing that you guys really were asking for. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised because my overall perspective on the items is that they're a lot better than I thought. To be honest, I thought they were going to be crap. I thought they were gonna be really bad, especially because, um, as I mentioned, my sister had made an order, 
and she was like, no, Patricia, she didn't like the items, um, but she ended up still wearing some of them on holiday anyway, and I thought they were going to be way worse than they actually were, and there were some actual gems. Now, to me, the sizing is absolutely crazy, like, you're medium, you're small, you're one side, it, you can't even decide what size you want to be. And I feel like you have to be very careful to make sure you pick the right item. Like I had a medium jumpsuit, which was literally so small. It was just, you know, collecting up all into areas that it shouldn't be collecting up into. Also, I had a medium skirt, which was far too large. And I mean, I feel like some of it just wasn't great. Overall, I didn't feel like the clothing was good. I did feel like the swimsuits were very, very nice. So that might be their strong point. So my opinion is that, you know, if you want to go ahead and try some um, swimsuits on Zaffle, definitely try that. Do not waste your money on the clothing, to be honest with you, because it's far too hit or miss. The denim, um, no. I feel like these websites make denim for people with literally no bums. Like, it's literally like if you had a prune for a bum, sure, go ahead onto Zaffle and purchase um, your jeans there. But if you've got anything bigger than a prune, then yeah, it's not going to be for you. Overall, I feel like the process of hassle, I felt unsure on the website. And I feel like that's, that's the worst thing you never want to feel unsure when you're purchasing and I definitely felt um, unsure but there were definitely some good items there do not give your passport details or your driving license or anything like that if you get an email just ignore that and see what happens and also as I mentioned I still do not have the other half of my orders and this is four weeks later so yeah I mean so most of the time when there's items I don't like I pack them up I'll send them back so I'm not going entirely broke buying these items, but I really want you guys to get a good idea of what's out there and whether or not, and I really just want to share my honest opinion. So if there are any other websites you want me to try, any other clothing you want me to try, hit me up, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! The number one website that you guys wanted me to have a look at and buy some items from was She Inside, or She In, as I think it might be called now. Listen, I spent my coin 